Hey, what's going on guys? Jack Shadow back at it again. And this time we're actually going to do a how-to. I'm going to show you guys how to do the game capture software for the HD60. Okay, so I've got the Elgato HD60. Um, I'm not actually going to have a picture or anything of my Elgato. Um, but it is going to be just a little bitty regular Elgato HD60. Just like everybody else probably has. It is for the Xbox, for the PlayStation 4, and it's for, you know, the, the cross console to record for the PC. So, first and foremost, when you first plug in your Elgato, you're going to have to download the software, which I have everything already ready right here. So this is the website that you're going to go to. You're actually going to type in elgato.com backslash download. Okay, so this is what the screen is going to look like. You're going to get the Elgato HD60 download support screen. Um, but for me, I know a lot of issues that I had was the issue of my games not rendering for some odd reason. Or something was going on and there was a lot of different issues and I'm going to show you how to fix that in just one second. So, I know it says right here, download your game cache for the 3.5. That's not a bad download, but my problem was is when I had that download that's where I was having my issues so for a guarantee work 90 percent of the time click right there on the click for older versions so as you can see there's a whole lot of different ones um, but mine I literally did it I think to right before the three the three point anything uh, I think I got this one right here so the 2.2.9 or 2.2 20.9 download for the um, you know for Windows 10 that's what I have I'm sorry um, so this is what I've got going on now you can do some of these older ones I think just or these newer ones I think that'll be fine um, and I do have a Nvidia uh, streaming stuff like that but I'm not going to take the chance because I know that you know mine works just how it is okay so after you've downloaded whichever version you want to download then we go to the actual software so you got different ones you got the sound capture right here which I haven't been able to use yet I don't have a lot of people that play games with me um, but that's the that's for you know recording party chat and stuff like that I'll actually show it to you guys real quick so this is how you do it okay you got your you got no nothing at all you got team chat which would be your party stuff you can hear all that good stuff um, you got music if you want to put music into it PC gaming and then advance where you can do your own um, however you see fit so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that because I don't need that for, for to, uh, the how-to so we're gonna go to the game capture HD screen so I should have had this loaded up but I just didn't do it Oop, it's already running I don't know why I didn't load it up. I just wanted to show you guys how how it works. Okay, so if you guys can see, we got the different settings for this. It's saying one moment, no big deal. I'm not recording anything. When you're recording a video, it's going to show up right here. You got under the capture, it's going to show up right here. Now, of course, there you go. Now, now it's working. Now down here you can see it says record that's where you're gonna start recording you got all these different buttons you can actually pause in the middle of your recording if you want and then restart back at the next thing but my software my computer is further away than my actual television and my Xbox is um, so as of right now I just kind of record an entire video in one sitting and then just edit it later in my Camtasia anyway that's a completely different story then you got your stream setting and then you got your commentary setting. This is for your mic. I'm running an AT2020. That's what you're getting out of sound right now. Um, anyway, there's that. So then you've got all these different types of things, and, and you can you can mess around with your game audio, your commentary, your your titles, all that stuff. What you guys are wanting to know is how to fix your issues. So you got your device settings these are my settings for my device okay this is the the Elgato HD 60 um, I said I wasn't gonna put a picture in there I guess that's good enough for a picture 
Um, I'm going straight for my Xbox One. I do have PS4, but I just don't use it yet because I just don't have a, a good game. Um, but you got your HDMI audio. That's what I use. I, HDMI all the way. Expanded. You could probably use standard, but I use expanded. My profile HD, uh, HD 1080p, if at all possible, and allowing 60 frames a second. Now, when I first started, I had my stuff set up to the best quality. I'm going to let you guys know, 90% of the time, having it to the best doesn't make it the best. I've got it right here in between good and better, and it works fantastic. I still have 1080 videos, or minimal 720. Like, I don't do anything below 720. It just does not work as great. And I don't have convert standard definition or stretch standard definition out input. Just no point. Picture, didn't mess with that any. Audio, didn't mess with that. Profiles in advance, didn't mess with any of that. Now, the, the biggest and, and most pain in the butt issue is right here. Whoop, not that. This one. This is where so many people get screwed up. Um, now, I'm using all this, which is simple, no big deal. Um, your library location. Guys, I, I kid you not, I have, an, I have strictly a portable um, external hard drive strictly for recording vids because you fill up your C drive and your F drive so fast or whatever drive you've got you fill the main drives up so fast with videos, like massive, massive uh, amounts of videos, that it becomes you know too much to handle for the PC, and so you have to start moving it uh, to different locations. So I traded mine all to my portable. Um, enable flashback recording. You can do that. I don't think it matters because when you're done, you're going to end up being able to look at it anyway. So honestly, this means nothing. And then enable stream command. Most, if I'm going to stream anything, I'm going to go through OBS anyway. Um, or, since PS4 and Xbox both have Twitch streaming capabilities, go through there. Okay, now on to the main thing, sharing. Um, here, Here's where a lot of people screw up. You see all of these boxes checked. If you look in the edits, I can't get to it yet. If you look in the edit section, all of these boxes will be checked for most people. And guys, that's that's not the way to go. It's just not an easier way to do things. I keep my file, my MP4 Pro. Um, I do that, keep that checked. But as you can see right here, always convert new videos to MP4 file. I, I niched that. I got it out of the way. Because for some reason, I kept having issues every time that it would automatically convert to MP4. Um, it would kept it would keep in my queue or keep lagging behind and say you know everything stopped blah 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 and I kept having issues and it was it was you know honestly guys it was really ticking me off like I couldn't do anything with it so there's that you can have webcam and overlays if you want live commentary audio of course I'm gonna have that in the nail got sound capture um, you can export these as you see fit that's just always up to you but I import them and then go through Camtasia with that. Updates, automatically check for updates, you know, all this, hotkeys, I don't have any hotkeys assigned, and this is all going to my GTX 960. Um, so in between highest quality and best performance, I put it there just because I like quality over performance most of the time because my PC is not a bad build. Okay guys, so with this, this is what I'm main reason why I'm here to show you guys. All right, so we'll go to edit. Now, I was recording a video with my brother, secretly recording it, by the way. It says it right there, secretly recording it. There's a bunch of good, funny uh, chat, so you guys can go ahead and check that if you like. Um, but let's go to all videos, just to show you. So I've got a bunch of different things. I've got For Honor, I've got Plants vs. Zombies, I've got all sorts of, you know, Rainbow Six and all, Rocket League and all that stuff. Here's the thing, guys. I didn't pro this one out yet. But I'm going to I'm going to show you guys just to, just for the fact that you know it makes it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. This is this is just clicking on it, and I'm going to file MP4 Pro it. This is processing one video at 45 minutes into the video. Okay, so my computer may lag a little bit here. So if you guys are hearing it, 
that might be why. But this is what I'm talking about. Okay, it's a little extra step, but to me, I would rather take that extra 10, you know, that extra minute and a half, two, three minutes sometimes to do that and make sure that my game works perfectly fine. Okay, there'd be some people that I know right here. Look at this. I, I was, if I could show you guys, because I redid mine, this, I started back off and I'm pardon me for my terrible amounts of not fixing the titles for anything um, but right here it would say exporting if I was exporting something but most of the time it would say queued or you know something was messed up I don't remember what it was I like I said I redid my entire thing I redownloaded everything I watched somebody else's video and said, hey, why don't you try to different, you know, download a different thing. I looked all over Google trying to figure out what was the best option. So I, I took all these different aspects and made them into a, you know, a portable thing. So this is still processing. And I'm going to show you guys just for the fact that once it gets done, you know, there's something that you can really see. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And you guys will see it when the processing fit. All right, guys. So as you can see, the video just finished processing. And it's going to go into my file. So as you can see, it's going into my Seagate backup drive. And then I have everything listed under my Elgato bits. Now, all these are videos that I haven't yet put out to YouTube. And that's because as being a student, you have to bulk record sometimes. It, it just happens. If you guys are looking at this, I haven't done a whole lot. Um, but I'm going to take this, I'm going to leave it up for a second, um, and I'm going to minimize this and minimize this right quick. Now I'm going to open up my Camtasia back again. Now I'm recording with Camtasia at the moment. So you guys, you guys can't see it, but on my other screen over this way, um, I have a recording. It says new recording, and I'm going to actually show you guys how to use Camtasia 9 here in another video here in a couple days. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So this is uh, just a new project and that's what we're going to do. And then I'm just going to show you how it uploads to at least Camtasia. I don't know what movie studio you guys are running but at least how to upload it. So we'll just import media and as you can see this is already done. It's in the mp4 file type and then I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. So move it over. And so I'm probably going to have to take out the audio or I don't care either way. Um, okay. So as you can see, the video was working. Or at least you can you can move it over. If I turn, it, turn the sound on, then it's going to probably try to give me a copyright claim. And I just don't feel like dealing with that right now. Um, anyway, guys, that's the biggest thing. You got all these different uh, video folders that you can do. You can group by game title, game level, creation date, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, about your H HD thing, it's just basically showing you uh, helps and all that good stuff. Um, I'm trying to think. Edit tags. You can do that from here, which is really cool. Um, you can actually have this set as the thumbnail, which is really nice. But this is an old game. This is an old game. I just it's the only one I got. Um, anyway, guys, that's how you do it. You can you can like I said, you can do all the settings and all all that good stuff. Um, remember, guys, when you do this, make sure the device is on. Make sure you check all your settings and you have everything set up to go. As you can see, like some little things, like, you know, your, your microphone. Make sure your microphone set up right or. If you're going to do sound capture, go ahead and make sure that's set up right. The whole nine yards. You know, you, that's just how it goes. All right, guys. So it's about a 14-minute video, but I wanted to make sure that you guys had an in-depth look at the Elgato HD60 and how to fix an issue in the game. Or in the game. Wow. Um, how to fix an issue in the programming of your you know, processing. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to take it from there guys um, make sure when you do this stuff guys that you look and you pay attention to every little detail um, if there's any issues make sure you contact me 
go ahead. I'll see if maybe if I can find a way around it or I can help you find a way around it. I'll do my best to see if I can reply to every comment that I get. Um, I don't have a whole lot of subs, so I should be able to reply no issues. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. It's been real. It's been fun. It's Jax. Peace.